ready to assist you working from home by phone or email. And now for the really exciting part of all of this, I want to hand it over to Lisa for your Rocky Mountaineer presentation. Thank you so much, Jackie and Annabelle, and thank you for the wonderful introduction and a heartfelt thank you to all of you joining us today. So welcome to Rocky Mountaineer, a one of a kind experience traveling by rail. Train travel is relaxing, romantic and nostalgic. Rocky Mountaineer offers luxury train journeys that showcase some of the most spectacular scenery in North America. The journey offers guests a firsthand look at spectacular scenery that is best experienced by train. And I know a lot of people have heard of Rocky Mountaineer, but they're just not exactly sure what we're all about. So we are not a commuter train that is only about transporting you from point A to point B. Our trains travel during daylight hours only. Guests do not sleep on the train. They enjoy a restorative night's sleep at the midpoint of their journey in a hotel. Our trains travel at an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour, or what we like to call Kodak speed, and feature oversized windows so guests do not miss a moment of ever-changing landscapes. Throughout the journey, the onboard hosts are telling stories of the history of the rail line, the communities we travel through, the indigenous peoples, the flora and the fauna, all bringing it to life. Our onboard hosts cater to our guests every need and create a friendly, comfortable atmosphere. Our cuisine showcases regional flavors and locally sourced ingredients. The culinary service is accompanied by a selection of complimentary local wines and beers, along with premium spirits, which are served throughout the journey. All you need to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the amazing scenery, service, and food. We have three routes in Western Canada. And for a visual overview, here is a map of our three routes. So the solid green line is our three day rainforest to gold rush route. The solid blue line is our two day journey through the clouds route. And the solid burgundy line is the two day first passage to the west route. Our routes connect Vancouver with the mountain towns of Jasper, Lake Louise and Banff. Our journeys are taken one way traveling either eastbound or westbound. The dark diamonds that you see on the map are destinations where you begin, end, or extend your journey. And the white diamonds are the midpoint of the journey where guests overnight in hotels. For simplicity today, I will be describing the routes traveling eastbound from Vancouver, but again, the option is also available to start your journey in the Canadian Rockies and travel westbound to Vancouver. The first route we are traveling on today is the first passage to the West route, a two day journey that we will be traveling in gold leaf service. As we depart Vancouver, we'll travel 460 kilometers before reaching our midpoint destination of Kamloops. We'll enjoy a good night's rest in our hotel in Kamloops. And on the second day, we'll make our way to Lake Louise and Banff, traveling 441 kilometers and 497 kilometers respectively. We begin our journey today in Vancouver, a magnificent city that has it all, ocean, mountains, and rainforests, with some of it right in the city or only a short 20 to 30 minute drive away. It's a beautiful combination of city life and outdoor playground with amazing vistas no matter where you look. Step aboard the Gold Leaf Coach will be traveling in today as we make our way to the Canadian Rockies. As your luggage does not travel with you, be sure to bring a day pack with you on the train with any necessities that you need during the day, such as medication, sunglasses, camera, and perhaps an extra layer of clothing depending on the time of the year if you're going to spend some time on the outdoor viewing platform. So let's get familiar with our Gold Leaf service. Gold Leaf Service features bi-level rail cars with our all glass domed windows in the seating area on the upper level and large windows in the lower level dining area where meals are served and freshly prepared from a selection of regionally inspired dishes. Stretch your legs and walk with camera in hand to the outdoor viewing platform exclusive to Gold Leaf Service to get closer to nature and take some amazing photos outdoors. 
And now that we're settled in, a welcome toast with our onboard hosts and fellow travelers to start the adventure. Welcome aboard. Cheers. We start our breakfast sh service shortly after the train departs. So please make your way down the stairs to the elegant dining room where an onboard host will attend to you. For those that may require mobility support, each gold leaf coach has an elevator and we have a hydraulic lift to transfer you on to any of our train coaches. Select your choice of entree from the menu. There are typically five to seven entrees to choose from for breakfast. The menu changes from year to year, but to provide you with a few examples from past menus, breakfast entrees have included spinach feta and egg souffle, sunrise skillet, and buttermilk pancakes, just to name a few. Of course, complimentary beverages are served with your two course breakfast. As the seating capacity of our dining room is half that of the upper seating level, we divide our guests into two groups. So group one will go first to the dining room, but as they are being served in the dining room, we are serving our guests in the upper seating area, scones and beverages. Day two of the journey will reverse that order of the group. So if you are in the second seating on day one, you'll now be in the first seating on day two of your journey. Lisa, yes. I, we have no picture at all to see what you're talking about. Oh, is nobody else getting a, a... Yeah, there's no, your screen is not sharing with us. I, I can no. see it. I'm getting I can fine. See it. Yeah, we're all yeah. fine. I have a picture. Yeah. I see yeah. everything. <laughs> I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, I have a picture. Yeah, I'm good. No problem okay. for us. Okay. I think I can mute You're everybody fine. again. No problem for us. <laughs> Lisa, I think the majority of people can see your screen. I'm not sure what's going on. There's a couple people who can't hear you and a couple people who can't see you. But so for mm -hmm. the people who can't hear, you can adjust the volume on your own device. It's usually in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Um, and for the people who can't see, maybe they have to expand the window. Um, just open the box up just a little bit more to see the photos. Other than that, we will be sending out a recording of the video after this talk. So if you can't hear or you can't see, don't worry. It is being recorded and we will send that to you. Back to you, Lisa. Suggestion uh, over here, this is Lauren. Um, uh, I'm the one muting and I'm muting all of you over here in the background. <laughs> um, I just also maybe try making sure that you're also on a speaker view instead of gallery view. You might be getting, you might just be getting lost in the shuffle of all the different uh, screens. Just another, another try. Excellent. Thank you, Lauren, for that. And Annabelle. <laughs> Great. So as we leave the sites of the city behind, we travel through the lush green fields of the Fraser River Valley. We pass by many of the farms where we source the produce that is served on board. And traveling further into the interior of British Columbia, we'll be following the Fraser River winding through forests and crossing over bridges surrounded by the peaks of the Cascade and Coast Mountains. The train will come to a rolling stop to enjoy the spectacular views and rushing rapids of Hell's Gate. At points of interest along our routes, the train slows down so you can take in the incredible sights and have the opportunity to take lots of great photos. And the onboard host will give plenty of notice of upcoming points of interest. From Lytton, we'll be, we'll be following the Thompson River, and as the day continues, the tracks lead us into arid, desert-like canyons, and we enjoy fantastic stories of the region as the train travels along. As we approach Kamloops towards the end of the day, we emerge into open, grassy country that speaks of ranching and Indigenous culture. We've arrived at the midpoint of our journey, Kamloops, a very warm and welcoming riverside town. A motor coach will take you directly from your train coach to your hotel in Kamloops. You're already checked into your hotel room and your luggage has been delivered to your room. Enjoy your evening in Kamloops. There are terrific gastro pubs or take a stroll in one of the serene parks and enjoy a good night's rest. 
Rise and shine, your motor coach is waiting for you at the hotel to transport you to your train coach for an other luxurious day of train travel. Simply leave your luggage in your hotel room and the luggage fairies will take care of it for you once again. Welcome back aboard as we continue our journey to the Canadian Rockies. In the morning, the desert-like landscapes continue and as we travel along, the scenery changes and we see the greenery of the mountains. We pass over the last spike that completed the rail line and connected British Columbia with Eastern Canada more than 130 years ago. We are the only passenger train to travel along this historic Canadian Pacific rail line. Today's highlights include the climb over Rogers Pass, the Kicking Horse Canyon, and traveling through the spiral tunnels, an incredible feat of railway engineering. And of course, we're gonna be enjoying the stunning glaciers and snow-capped peaks of the Canadian Rockies. First Passage to the West is our original route, and not only is it our most popular route, it is also our most historic. So spend some time on the outdoor viewing platform and feel the wind rushing through your hair. Hear the sounds of the world going on around outside and breathe in the fresh mountain air and take some amazing photos outdoors. This is a photo I took from the outdoor viewing platform in October of 2019. As you can see, you really do get up close to nature. The outdoor viewing platform comfortably holds about 10 people, so there is ample time for everyone to rotate onto the platform many times throughout the journey. So let's head back inside upstairs to our seat and enjoy a glass of red, white or spark sparkling Okanagan wine, or if you prefer premium spirits or local beer. And isn't this the perfect setting to relax in your reclining seat and enjoy a drink? The bar opens at 10 a.m. You're on holiday. Why not have a splash of Baileys in your coffee? Back to our journey, we've passed the town of Field, continuing our ascent, and we are literally going to pass through two mountains, Mount Ogden and Cathedral Mountain, as the train travels through the spiral tunnels, crossing over the Continental Divide. We have arrived at the train station at Lake Louise, and we will bid farewell to those fellow travelers who've chosen the incredibly stunning Lake Louise as their destination, one of the most photographed places in Canada. Lake Louise is a peaceful hamlet with wonderful hiking trails, canoeing on Lake Louise, or simply relax and soak in the incredible scenery. For the remainder of us on board, we'll travel another 56 kilometers to Banff. Banff National Park was the very first national park in Canada and third in the world. Welcome to the town of Banff and the end of our first day, first and the end of our two day first passage to the West journey. Banff is a lively town with fabulous restaurants, shops, art galleries, with easy access to pristine wilderness, endless outdoor activities, and mineral hot springs. And train travel allows precious time to connect with your travel companion, whoever that may be, your partner, your friend, family member, or yourself. I love being surrounded by nature, the majesty of the mountains, you know, and places bigger than us that allow us to be present and have perspective. There is no Wi-Fi on the train. So there will be areas where you'll have cell phone coverage, but we travel in remote areas where there are no cell towers. So disconnect from that cell phone and connect with nature. And special moments happen on the train. On my October 2019 trip, there was a lovely couple celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. And the dapper husband spoke some sentimental words about his wife, his experience on the train, and he proceeded to serenade the coach with What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. And we were approaching the Canadian Rockies. It was such a beautiful moment. And with you know the combination of the lyrics of that song with the stunning scenery we were immersed in, I don't think there was a dry eye on that coach. I know mine certainly were not. And for our second rail journey, we are going to travel to the incredibly picturesque sleepy town of Jasper on the two day journey through the clouds route. Day one is the same as first passage to the west. We travel from Vancouver to Kamloops and overnight in Kamloops. So we will pick up this route from the second day of the journey traveling north and east to Jasper on the Canadian National Railway. 
So welcome back aboard. As we depart Kamloops bound for the Canadian Rockies, we will travel alongside the North Thompson River through the Monashee and Caribou Mountains, climbing ever near to the high peaks of the Continental Divide. We will travel 435 kilometers from Kamloops to Jasper. And today we are traveling in our Silverleaf service. So the inclusions in both silver leaf service and gold leaf service are the same. So those inclusions are your meals, both breakfast and lunch, your complimentary beverages, alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and snacks served throughout the day, overnight accommodation at the midpoint of your journey, transfers to and from the hotel, uh, and luggage handling, and of course, the first rate service and storytelling provided by our onboard hosts. So the difference between the two levels of service are the coaches themselves and the meal service. So Silver Leaf features our spacious single level rail cars with oversized glass dome windows where meals are served seat side by a culinary team member. And if you would like to get some fresh air, you can step into the small, more enclosed outdoor area that you see on the right hand side of the train where the door is and it holds two people comfortably. So enjoy the high ceilings and airy, airy spacious feel of our silver leaf coach and soak in the passing scenery with our large oversized domed windows that bring the outdoors in. So you can see how the windows curve up towards the ceiling. All of our domed coaches have been designed for optimal viewing. So enjoy breathtaking mountain peaks and glacial fed lakes. Journey Through the Clouds takes guests through some of the most untouched natural beauty. I hear a bit of a grumbling. Is that a bear? No, it's your stomach letting you know it's lunchtime. So don't miss a moment of the passing scenery as your three course lunch is plated in the kitchen and served to you by a culinary team member at your seat. Simply lower your table tray for your culinary delight. Silver leaf service is the same gourmet cuisine as gold leaf, but it is a pared down menu, simply meaning that you do not have as many options to choose from for your entree. So in silver leaf service, you have two options to choose from for your entree for both breakfast and lunch, whereas in gold leaf service, you have five to seven options to choose from for breakfast and five options to choose from for lunch. Lunch includes a starter, either super salad, uh, and then we have your entree and chef's dessert creation. And we can accommodate special uh, dietary requirements, you know, any food allergies, and the further ahead you let us know, the better. But please note that we cannot accommodate kosher or halal requests. Each year, our culinary team reimagines a menu that showcases regional flavors and locally sourced ingredients, such as fresh salmon and Alberta beef. So previous entrees on the lunch menu have included Alberta pork tenderloin, braised Alberta beef ribs, or Pacific prawn risotto to name a few. And we use in season and local vegetables and fruit. And between the multi-course breakfast and lunch and enjoying beverages and sweet and savory snacks throughout the day, once you arrive at your destination where you are on your own for dinner, you may feel like something light only, uh, for example, appetizers. For myself, I am so very full that a beverage is all that I have. And back to our journey along uh, the route, feel the spray of Pyramid Creek Falls as it drops over the falls and flows under the railway tracks and joins the North Thompson. Pyramid Falls is best viewed by the train. Pyramid Creek drops down over the edge a total of 90 meters and the falls cascade over three tiers and fan out into a pyramid shape before hitting the bedrock below. As we travel throughout the day, mountainous views do not disappoint as we climb over the Yellowhead Pass into Jasper National Park. Enjoy the magnificent Mount Robson, the highest peak in the Canadian Rockies that stands at 3,954 meters. It is so tall that it has its own weather system at the top, so it can be a beautiful clear blue sky day, but the top is often crowned in alpine clouds. And have that camera ready as we travel by Moose Lake, aptly named for the many moose in this region, approximately 100,000. In addition to moose, bald eagles, bighorn sheep, and everyone's favorite, bears, 
these are some of the examples of the wildlife you may catch glimpses of. All of our onboard hosts are connected by radios, so if wildlife is spotted by a coach up ahead, it will be radioed to the other coaches. So you may hear the onboard house announce bear spotted on the left up ahead and that energy on the train is going to dramatically rise with the anticipation of seeing a bear. And our arrival to Jasper is approaching as we spot Mount, Fit Mount Fitzwilliam ahead, which rises 2,907 meters. Welcome to picturesque Jasper where our two day journey th through the clouds journey ends. Jasper is a quiet, beautiful little mountain town with incredible scenery no matter where you look. And it's a true gem of the Rockies full of fantastic wildlife viewing opportunities. There are numerous trails in Jasper for all different levels so that walking or hiking are excellent ways to enjoy the wonders of Jasper National Park or enjoy a peaceful boat or float tour on the river. And now for the road less traveled, Welcome to our three-day Rainforest to Gold Rush route. This is a very remote train passage and very diverse in geography and climate. We depart from North Vancouver and arrive in Whistler midday on the first day. We overnight in Whistler and day two is a full day on the train traveling north to Quesnel. We overnight in Quesnel and day three is another full day of train travel as we continue our journey to our final destination of Jasper. Welcome aboard. On our first day's journey, we will travel 118 kilometers from North Vancouver to Whistler. It's a spectacular day and a short three and a half hour journey to Whistler. We pass from the cool Pacific shore of the Coast Mountains following Howe Sound with spectacular ocean fjord and mountain views. We follow Howe Sound into the rugged Chicamas, into the rugged canyon of the Chicamas River and we pass through tunnels and bridges over gorges and the top of Brandywine Falls until we reach the resort of Whistler. So welcome to stunning Whistler, consistently rated North America's number one resort again and again. You have the afternoon and evening to enjoy outdoor activities, restaurants, galleries and shops surrounded by both Whistler and Blackhome Mountain. Enjoy a comfortable night stay at your hotel and it's easy to rise early with views like this. We partner with the best hotels in our destinations. So we pre-select moderate hotels with our silver leaf service. So these are your, you know, your comfortable moderate three, three and a half star hotels. And for gold leaf service, we pre-select premium hotels. So these are your four and five star hotels. However, you can choose the level of hotel that you would like, moderate or premium to suit your preferences. So for example, you can choose gold leaf service on the train. However, if you don't care to spend your money on a five-star hotel like the Fairmont, you can choose the moderate level hotel to stay in. And these are some examples of the, part of the hotels that we partner with. So we have the Fairmont Shadow Lake Louise, and we do partner with the Fairmonts in all of our destinations. And then the other three, Brewster's Mountain Lodge in Banff, the Chateau Jasper in Jasper, and then we have the Sheraton Vancouver Wall Center. Those are your moderate level hotels. Good morning and welcome back aboard. On our second day, we will travel 500 kilometers from Whistler to Quesnel, and we pass from the cool, moist, coniferous forests of the Coast Mountains and beautiful blue-green glacial lakes into one of the hotter, drier places in the country at Lillooette. We follow the Fraser River along its impressive canyon as we climb high along its eastern wall. Then we cross the north, northern end of the Cascades Mountains and on the Caribou Plateau. We traverse the region's rolling lake dotted hills and ranching communities, experiencing some of the most contrasting landscapes in Western Canada. We cross the Deep Creek Bridge, one of the highest railway bridges in the world, and we follow the Gold Rush history, which is fascinating, as we rejoin the Fraser River near Williams Lake, and it takes us northward along a quiet, majestic section of the river to our destination at Quesnel. Quesnel was originally a mining town and it's kept its old world small town charm. 
It has a population of approximately 20,000. Enjoy your night stay in Quenelle. And welcome back aboard for the third day of our journey. We will travel 534 kilometers swinging north past Prince George before turning south and traveling southeast to our destination of Jasper. We follow the Fraser River meandering through a remote region of British Columbia. As the train travels through the Rocky Mountaineer Rocky Mountain Trench, we are surrounded by the Rocky Mountains to the north and the Caribou Mountains to the south. We'll enjoy the incredible view of Mount Robson before our arrival in Jasper, where our three-day Rainforest to Gold Rush journey ends. And if you can't decide which route to take, an option for you is to travel on one of our circle journeys. So a circle journey combines two upper rail routes and begin and end in the same destination. So for example, starting in Vancouver, you could take the rainforest to Gold Rush eastbound to Jasper and then return to Vancouver on the journey through the clouds route. We have seven circle journey packages to choose from, six begin and end in Vancouver, and one begins and ends in, Van in Calgary, and they range in length from seven to 13 days. And the fun and memory making continues once you're off the train and in your destination. So we have over 35 va vacation packages to choose from, depending on how much time you would like to spend in your destination and sightseeing activities and excursions that you would like to enjoy. We've partnered with the best tour operators to offer a wide array of unforgettable activities in the destinations we travel to. And we operate from springtime to fall. So we don't operate in the winter months and it's not that we're afraid of snow. We're a Canadian company after all. But as we all know, the days are you know short in the winter, darkness falls early. So you would miss some of that spectacular scenery. You may wonder what is the best season to travel in, and all three of the seasons are a wonderful time to travel. They each have something just a little bit different to offer. So in spring and May and June, you know, the mountains are still dusted with snow, making them really pop. The flora and the fauna are beginning to emerge, and not that we can guarantee it, but it's often a great time to see wildlife, especially bears, as they come out of hibernation and are making their way to the train tracks in search of food. And then to the uh, top right, we have the summer months where, you know, the days are nice and long. Everything is out in full bloom, looks beautiful, and it's warm and the weather is predictable. And then in the fall, September and early October, we have the beautiful yellows and golds of the larches. The salmon runs occur in the fall, attracting eagles and bears. But I would also say that uh, September and early October in the Rockies can look like uh, a little bit like springtime uh, as well. Just depends on how early the snowfall starts in Alberta. And the health and safety of our guests is our highest priority. So our trains are equipped with high-end filtration systems and we have extensive health screening and disinfecting protocols in place so guests can be confident and comfortable during their journey. As government guidelines and industry best practices continue to evolve around the prevention of COVID-19 and other illnesses, we will update our procedures to exceed the expectations of our guests. Guests will participate in health screening prior to travel and will be asked to wear a protective face covering while boarding and deboarding the train at destinations and also while on the train, except when they are not drinking or eating. And you'll also have to wear masks on motor coaches. Our team members will be wearing masks and gloves. Guests will check in online and we will meet all physical distancing guidelines required at that time. Guests will be traveling with the same group throughout the journey and guests will now be transported on motor coaches directly from their hotel direct to their train coach. We won't be using our train stations to avoid uh, crowds gathering. Our rail coaches are equipped with high-end filtration systems which ensure a steady intake of fresh air filtration and circulation. The system provides complete circulation every three to three and a half minutes and removes 99.9% .9 of airborne particles. 
Electrostatic foggers will be used to sanitize rail cars daily before guests board the train. And we have enhanced overnight and daytime cleaning procedures specifically for high touch areas. Throughout the journey, our onboard cleaners will ensure that washrooms and all handles are regularly sanitized between use. And to reduce exposure, beverages will be protected with a paper cover while being delivered to our guest seat. And, you know, as uh, these procedures are always constantly changing and evolving, we're, we are watching them closely. So what I've described today can change as well as uh, guidelines can become more restrictive or loosen up. And we realize that these are still uncertain times and to help provide you the comfort and confidence to travel this year, all of our 2021 bookings for a limited time include a risk-free deposit, which is fully refundable up to 30 days prior to travel. In addition, you can make two free date changes up to and including the 2023 season, as long as you're at least 30 days prior to travel. And if there are two or more people traveling together under one booking, you can make one name change prior, uh, just again, as long as you are 30 days prior to travel. And please note that one name from the original booking must remain. And final payment is due at 30 days prior to travel. And we have a promotion just exclusively for Canadian residents. So for new bookings in 2021, Canadian residents will receive $500 off per person on classic vacation packages. So classic vacation packages or are four to five days in length. So that is your two or three day rail journey, plus your package includes hotel accommodation the night before your journey and as well the night that your journey ends. For all other packages that are five days and up, it is $700 off per person. So that is a savings of you know, $1,400 per couple. And you can choose any of our three routes and either level of service, either silver leaf or gold leaf. And the Canadian resident offer ends soon, actually at the end of next week on February the 26th. And if your travel dreams are, you know, having you look uh, further ahead to 2022, I'll just briefly mention that all of our packages now are available for 2022 and our all aboard promotion for 2022 uh, is currently running until August uh, the 7th and August the 27th, sorry. And with that promotion too, for packages of eight days or more, you'll receive four free perks, two hotel nights, one airport transfer and one dinner. If it's a package of five to seven days, you'll receive two free perks, one hotel night and one airport transfer. And your deposit is fully refundable up until December the 3rd, 2021. Rocky Mountaineer has been a trusted travel experience for more than 30 years, and we've welcomed more than 2.2 million guests from around the world. Rocky Mountaineer has received more than 70 national and international travel awards. And in addition to those listed here, I'll just uh, include that Rocky Mountaineer was named one of the world's greatest trips by National Geographic Traveler and one of the world's ultimate experiences by Lonely Planet and a heartfelt thank you for experiencing Rocky Mountaineer train journeys with myself, Jackie, Annabelle, and I today. I hope I've painted a picture of, you know, what it's like on board Rocky Mountaineer. We're so lucky to have the spectacular scenery and wilderness in our own backyard, and Rocky Mountaineer is an unparalleled way to experience it. And of course, you know, for more information, reach out to your wonderful travel advisors at Merit Travel. As you know, you are in excellent hands with them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lisa. That was excellent. Um, as the slide you're currently seeing says, uh, travel should definitely be a reassuring experience. We highly recommend that you always purchase travel insurance when booking a trip, especially since they offer cancel for any reason and out of province medical coverage. It's very hard to enjoy a vacation when you're preoccupied with what might happen. 
remember to speak with your local merit travel consultant about a plan that's right for you. And now I'm going to hand it back to Lisa for a minute as I believe she has a door prize to give away. Yes, I do. Absolutely. So with this, we have a lovely, I'm just going to get it here. Uh, a lovely Rocky Mountaineer um, coffee table book and just has uh, lovely information um, about the history of our route, uh, you know, the regions that we travel through and uh, special memories from our guests. So with this, um, I'm going to ask a skill testing question and <laughs> whoever responds uh, with the uh, correct answer uh, will be the winner of the coffee table book. And I know Annabelle is kindly monitoring yep. us. Yes. And so the, question... the first answer, right? The first person to answer correctly, keep your eye on your And I will be messaging you after that. Perfect. So the question is, how many rail routes do we have in Canada? Four, 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 four. What was the correct answer? We have a lot of answers. Answer is three. We have three rail routes in Canada. Okay. Yep. And we have Alexandra Eagle, who was the correct answer. She was the first one. Alexandra, Ooh. I'm going to message you just shortly to get your email address. So, there are also a lot of questions. Um, and a first one up is, what is the single supplement? So that's a great question. There is no single supplement. Uh, the cost of the seat is a cost is the cost of the seat. And uh, actually, for um, any of our our packages, that seat cost doesn't uh, change throughout the year. What does change the cost is change the cost is uh, the hotel accommodation. So you know, hotel accommodation based on seasonality. So yes, no single supplement. Thank you. Um, so the cost of the hotel room, it's the same whether it's a... Uh... So the cost of the hotel room, uh, yeah. So if you're single, so when you do see, um, uh, uh, when you do see our pricing, you know, in our brochures, we're always, that price is um, based on two people sharing a room. So yes, as a single person, it'll be a little bit higher because you're not sharing the cost of the room between two people. So just like, you know, if you're traveling by yourself and booking your own hotel room versus two people sharing the cost. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's move on to meals. Uh, there's a couple questions. So one, can you accommodate gluten-free requests? Yes, we can accommodate that. That's correct. And we always say, you know, the, the further ahead, you can, you can let us know, you know, the better. So at time of booking, if you want to share that, or if you're getting closer to your travel date. But I, when I've been on the train, um, I've been sitting with, I, I had a lovely guest uh, from the U.S., and she forgot to mention any of that. And the chefs were able easily to prepare a meal up for them. And she had so many allergies. But yeah, she was gluten-free, but okay. dairy, you know, all of that. Yeah. Okay. And are Does vendors included in the silver leaf service? Oh, sorry. You're just cut out there. Could you repeat that, please? Yep. Annabelle? Are beverages included in the silver yes. leaf service? Absolutely. Yeah. Both levels of service, the inclusions are the same. So that includes your alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages that are served throughout the day. Okay. And I know some of these questions have been answered, but they did, they did ask them in the chat. So I just want to make sure that they heard them. Um, what is the best month to travel? You know, I, it really just depends what you're looking for. Um, uh, you know, I think for for this season, what we're what we're seeing are people are booking out later this year, right? July to to October, and um, uh, you know, I think that's just you know, given given the current un uncertainty that we see, but you know, the best month, the most popular months tend to be the summer months. Um, but really, it just depends what you're looking for. Uh, the scenery is different uh, during each time of each time of the year. A couple of people commented that this looks like it'd be a really good addition to an Alaska cruise. And I concur with that. But they wanted to know, is this available in early June? 
and that, which you've just answered. So yes. 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 Yeah. Transportation from Calgary to the starting point in Banff, is that included? Yeah, so we will have uh, packages where it's included, uh, or you can, it depends, you know, you can kind of customize your journey however that you would like, but yes, we do have packages where we do have um, uh, transportation. It's Brewster uh, bus transfer from, uh, from Calgary to Banff. Okay. Uh, and somebody asked a question, and I don't know which trip that they were referring to, and I don't know if you'll know the answer to this one, but they asked, how many tunnels does this go through? Oh my goodness, that is such a good question, and I do not have the answer to that. <laughs> okay. That, my goodness, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, maybe something there I There are a few. There are a few. There I wouldn't say few. there's a hundred, but there's a few. Yes, there, there's, there's, yeah, there's, there's a few. All <laughs> right. Uh, so a lot of people are asking about vaccines and testing and if they'll have to provide proof of vaccination. Yeah, that's a great question. And, you know, we're just following all of the guidelines out there. We actually have, you know, five regulatory bodies <laughs> that um, we have guidelines to follow. And, and because the government isn't requesting that yet, um, uh, we, we, we aren't. And um, again, you know, just moving forward, who knows, you know, when we're in operation, what, what guidelines are, but uh, no, not at, we're not requesting that. Right. And along those lines, somebody's asked, is there seating, is the seating reduced due to COVID? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, great question. So we will have uh, people spaced out uh, on, on the train. So with that too, we are following, uh, so BC guidelines, where if you are traveling with others, so, and those can only be in your household, that's a maximum party of six, or if you're a single person, it can be one or two other people. So, you know, between parties, we'll have people making sure that they're physically distanced, uh, adhering to the guidelines that are physical distancing guidelines in place at that time. Okay. Um, historically, which route is the most popular one? Yes, first passage to the west. That's our most popular. Um, somebody is doing the tunnels for us. Um, in Gold Leaf, is there room in the dome area for everyone? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, so yeah, so we'll have, you know, uh, maximum uh, seating capacity. So upstairs, yes. Is that the... And can you get up and walk around and change your seat or do you have to remain in your designated seat? Very good question. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're assigned a seat and yes, that's the seat that you stay in throughout your journey. I mean, you can, yeah, get up and walk around, head downstairs to the outdoor viewing platform. Okay. And can you take oxygen on the train? That's a good question. I would assume so. Huh, I haven't had that question before. I could maybe follow up with you on that one to make sure, but. Um... Margo asked that, and Margo, I'm gonna write your name down and uh, we will get the answer for you. I'm pretty sure you can though. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure. I, I, I can't think yeah. of any reason why you couldn't if that's required, I, yeah. Um, and somebody asked if you're run by via rail. No, we're not. <laughs> right, you're privately owned, correct? We're private. That's correct. We're a privately privately owned company. Okay, privately uh, Canadian. About the oxygen. Um, if we drive to Calgary by car, is there a place to leave a vehicle for 13 days? Uh, that's such a good question. No, there isn't. Um, in in. Uh, it, that's the challenge with the uh, mountain towns is um, not where there's, you know, public parking spaces to leave your car uh, overnight. And mm, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could probably do it at the airport and pay a fortune. It would be pretty pricey and take a shuttle from the airport downtown to get the shuttle to go to Bound. You could do mm -hmm. that. Um, are meals in the dining area or in the dome car? So uh, both both gold leaf service and silver leaf service. So you serve meals. So in gold leaf, because it is your bi level rail car, you have the dining room on the first level. So gold leaf guests enjoy their meals in the dining room, and then silver leaf, right? We're a um, just a one level uh, train coach. So meals are served to you at your seat. So you have yeah table tray that you pull down to enjoy. How long is the train ride per day? 
Yeah, so it varies. So you are, depending on the route, anywhere from uh, 10 to 12 hours on the train. Okay, um, is there a doctor on board? No, there is not a doctor on board, but we do have, uh, you know, all of our, our team members have been trained in first aid and we have, um, you know, protocols all set up should somebody become uh, ill while on the train. And we do have access, uh, depending on the severity as well too, but we do have access to a doctor that we can phone, but we have a whole, we have all, um, you know, emergency operations procedures, but for anybody, if, if you know, a medical situation were to uh, arise on the train, and that includes, you know, evacuating them off the train if necessary. Um, does designated seating change on day two, so we can have a different view from each side of the train? That's a great question, and uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't change, and um, and and you know there isn't you know one side of the train that has better viewing uh, than the other, and um, often too with speaking of tunnels or bridges, um, we will you know cross over the river. So perhaps somebody who had uh, the riverside didn't have the riverside view. Uh, now they will, and honestly, with the window so large and so big, I mean, if I, you know if I'm sitting on the left hand side and I look out to the right, I can see the scenery over over there, no problem. And, um, you know, people do get up and walk around as well, too. Hey, that's almost it for the questions. I'm going to answer the last two on, on my own. Somebody has asked, can we watch the presentation again on your own? And absolutely. So following this call early next week, we will be sending out everybody who is RSVP a link to the recording so you can listen to it again. And for the person who asked, how do we get the cost of our options? Please contact your Merit Travel Consultant. Um, again, whoever, many of you will be receiving an email after this show and um, you will have the name of somebody who you can contact directly. And okay, so actually the, now there's more questions coming in, I'm sorry. Uh, how many stops to allow freight trains to pass? Oh, well that, um... It just depends. There could be maybe maybe none. So yes, we do share uh, you know the tracks with CP and uh, CN, um, but we have great relationships with them. Um, and if there was ever a point in time where a freight train uh, were to you know break down, something like that happens, we work very closely with CP and CN so that that train moves off the tracks. Um, uh, so we can continue on. And because we have passengers on uh, our train and they don't, uh, we're definitely a priority. But I, yeah, I, I can't speak to, there might be the odd fr uh, freight train, but some of the, the routes too, you have um, uh, on one side of the, the river, you're traveling uh, westbound and on the other side, it's uh, eastbound. They're in one, one direction. And do your trains ever get delayed due to this other train traffic? Yep, that can absolutely that 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 can happen, and uh, and that is why too with uh, we always provide an estimation of the time that we will arrive into our destination just to account for that. So if we don't have anything, any delays that happen, um, you know, one wonderful. But we you know we monitor our on time performance and we have high rates with that. I think you covered this. Uh, somebody has asked again about COVID vaccination. So if somebody does not have a COVID vaccination, is the trip still a go? Yeah, so right now we fully intend on operating. Uh, we're still a couple of, two and a half months, two and a half months away. Um, so, and as we know, right, things can change, things can change tomorrow. So just as long as with our regulatory bodies, if everything's a go for us to operate, we are. It would be if there were any restrictions that were put in place that, you know, that we were then, you know, illegally, you know, operating or going against the regulatory requirements. We can't do that. Um, and are children allowed on the trains? And is there a reduced rate for children? Another fantastic question. So, 
Uh, I'll start off with the second question. So no, there isn't a reduced rate for children and, uh, and we do welcome children, uh, but our experience hasn't been designed, you know, with children in mind. Um, you know, our average age is, uh, average guest age is 64, but yes, certainly children are welcome. Uh, we've had children uh, on, the, on the train. I just like to say it needs to be the right child. So you need to know your child if they can sit, you know, in a seat for, you know, eight up to, you know, or 10 to 12 hours at a time where they can't be on their iPad uh, consistently. Uh, I know of one uh, travel advisor and her friend's uh, seven-year-old son went on the train and he loved it. Um, but, you know, keep in mind, we don't have a separate, you know, play area for them. And uh, and then for, you know, uh, little ones, you know, there's no, you know, change table set up in, in, in the washrooms. But so, yeah, you just need to know your child <laughs> if they would enjoy the experience. Um. Are there senior fairs? No, there, there aren't. Uh, let's, we're, a lot of people are asking about the vaccinations and the safety. So I'm just gonna go back to that. You said there's a space between groups. Are there empty rows between those groups? Is that how that works? Yeah, so it will, yeah, so we'll, we'll, yeah, so if that means exactly, um, you know, if we have a group here on the left and then the other is up further ahead, again, we'll make sure so that could be exactly the seats across from you are empty. So it'll just depend, our team will be working, you know, all, all of that out, but yeah, you know, spacing people out uh, because we will, right, we have to adhere to the physical distancing requirements at that time. And one more about the vaccination. Uh, mm -hmm wants to know if they will be co-mingling with vaccinated and non-vaccinated travelers on the train. Well, yeah, I guess that's that's that that's a, a possibility, right? As um, yeah, vaccines are are, are rolled out, and uh, you know, as we know too, here in the provinces, it's getting rolled out at different levels. But um, yeah, at, at at this point, you know. Um, uh, Transport Canada, you know, they're not requiring our guests uh, guests to have vaccines. That's not as part of the health guidelines out there now. Just like you know, airlines. Again, if that changes, we would have to adhere adhere to that. Right. I just want to like just stress that things are changing all the time. Sometimes they change every couple of days. So while that's true today, it might change next week. Don't hold us to that answer. Yeah, yeah, ex exactly. And as I mentioned before, even just talking about our health and safety precautions. Uh, again, we're two and a half months away from operation and, and yes, and uh, just as you mentioned, guidelines are always evolving. Yeah, as we see, they change. So even what I'm talking about today, that can be different, you know, and, and I'm sure it's going to change as we progress throughout our operating season uh, as well. But I know that why two people are booking, you know, July out and longer, because I know the thought is that hopefully, you know, with with, um, you know, the average age of our guests, you know, seniors, they'll be the ones getting the vaccines uh, first. Um, and that's I know some people are feeling more comfort, you know, level with that. Okay, I think that's an end to the questions. Um, I just wanted to say for those of you who are considering an Alaska trip, it is the perfect add-on. And I strongly recommend that you spend some time in Banff before you get on the train or you spend some time in Calgary or Vancouver. Those are amazing centers and there's lots to see and do in all of them. Um, so thank you, Lisa, for the great presentation and um, taking us along on your journey. And Jackie, uh, thanks everybody. And for the the winner, Alexandra and Margo, the question about the oxygen, we will be in touch shortly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.